In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to add text to your images inside of Midjourney. This is a relatively new feature enabled in Midjourney version 6 alpha. So for the beginning of this video, I'm going to show you quickly how to enable Midjourney version 6, and then I'm going to show you how to add text to your images inside of Midjourney. You'll need to log into Discord on a Midjourney enabled server and just type in slash settings to begin with. Hit the settings button right here. And once you hit the settings button, you can hit enter. And then it's going to pull up your Midjourney settings. At this point, you'll see a drop down right here and you can change to whatever version of Midjourney that you want. The older versions do have some advantages, but if you want to add text to your images, you're going to need to switch to Midjourney version 6 alpha as of right now. Once you have that set as your default version, you can just start typing your prompt down here. I'm going to dismiss this message and I'm going to type in slash imagine and then hit space and I'll get my prompt right here. And I'm just going to create a handwritten bit of text for this first portion. Whenever you add text, you need to put quotation marks around it for the text to show up in Midjourney. So I'm just going to type in a yellow sticky note with the text by milk. And I put those quote marks around it written in black Sharpie stuck to a stainless steel bridge then I'm going to hit enter now by no means is this perfect but I am very impressed that it was able to get the handwriting down just fine here and it does look like it was written in black sharpie this one down here I think is the best one that I see so I'm just going to upscale this by hitting u4 as you can see this is very impressive it got all the details right, even the type of text that's written on here and the color of the sticky note. It's stuck to a stainless steel fridge. For this next one, I'm going to try to create a sign on the side of a road that says fresh vegetables as if you're driving down a backcountry road and you see a farmer stand. So we'll type in a sign that says fresh veggies on a dirt road in front of a farm stand with various colored vegetables in wooden boxes. All right, I think U1 is definitely the best. Some of these didn't pick up the words quite right, but U1 definitely looks pretty good. It got the wooden boxes that I asked for, it got the sign, and I actually really like the font that it chose. It's a dirt road and you can tell that it's on a farm, and there are various colored vegetables right here. All right, let's try one more. I'm just going to type slash imagine an ex machina style female robot holding a sign that says hello world. Okay, now this one came out great, but it says hello word instead of hello world. So let's just go ahead and change this by hitting V1 and we'll get a variation of this same image here. All right, so after generating some variations and repeating this prompt a couple times, I came out with some really good results. As you can see, this one even depicts the little robot fingers over top of the text a little bit right here. So it's a very dynamic image. Now, I'm certain that this technology is going to get better and better because Midjourney V6 is only in alpha right now. My brother Drake and I have been talking and we decided that we are going to create a course called Midjourney Mastery. This is going to be the most up-to-date course that teaches you the latest on Midjourney. If you want to sign up for the waitlist for this course, you can use the link in the description below. If you want to stay updated with Midjourney, whether it's for work, your own creative side hustle, or your own recreational use, then you should definitely consider joining the waitlist so that you can get an early access discount code. Once the course is live and we have all of these new Midjourney V6 features included in this course, then we'll make sure to email you first and we'll give you a discount link if you're one of the early adopters. So as I said, if you want to be the first to know about that course, click the link in the description and sign up for the waitlist. In the meantime, you can check out my free Midjourney content right here on YouTube.